Hey guys, it's Shrieks here, and I know it's been a very long time. In fact, you may have noticed that my voice has even changed. It's been that long. This video is going to be really uh, casual. I'm kind of just saying this all on the top of my head, but I kind of just wanted to give you an insight in what's going on. I know I said the next video that would come out would be Memory Hearts related. This is kind of Memory Hearts related, so I guess. But, um... Yeah, I just want to explain to you guys that I'm, I'm currently in my last year of uh, high school, so it's kind of stressful. I've got a lot of work, plus I have my part-time job and a couple of other commitments um, that are stopping me from getting back into my machinima, but I want to fret that I'm not done with it. In fact, I'm very far from it. I'm completely dedicated to it. It's just... A matter of finding the time um but what i really want to talk about is the community i've been gone for quite a fair amount of time i think that's already uh found but <clears throat> um what happened <laughs> like I come back to this community after about a year of hiatus and there is just nothing here. <laughs> like, I found people are leaving and like shows I was watching just completely stopped and like, I just, I don't know what happened. An explanation would be appreciated, but it comes down to like, I've, I'm seeing all these weird series are all the same kind of stuff um all my favorite shows yeah are not going on anymore people i love are quitting when i saw um kristen xk generation xx was leaving or thinking about leaving i was like i was so confused like this is like a director that inspired me to even start machinima and they wouldn't and she was considering leaving luckily she's not but who knows and then and everyone is just so distant like there's so few kind and helping and friendly people i know this might be a bit of a like an assumption but that's just what i'm that's just what i see it's no longer this place of getting excited for so, such and such as next show and their next episode and talking about it and just this sense of happiness enjoyment excitement for to see other people's works and to work on your own it's now this chore and this community is so small now like you're looking at views and as someone that used to get a quite a decent amount of views i mean the thousands now i look at like yeah i'll take Kristen again for an example I look at her um her show the one that she's working with Michael with and her one of her episodes got like 400 views she used to be one of the top directors that everyone adored um with like Alina and Beyond Reality and she's getting 400 views now that used to be what smaller series were getting but now smaller series getting like 50 views and I'm just kind of worried that I'm going to put something up and no one's going to watch it. Where did everyone go? What happened? I've seen people's um, people's activity feeds and just saying the same thing. Saying, where is everyone? Where is everyone gone? It's like they just up and left. Uh, we got people like a little mid that have come back. And of course, Oratasha, which came back quite a while ago i'm really thankful for them because they're two directors that i really sincerely enjoy the work of i really need to get back into a little bit shows though but i don't know what happened because i'm just i'm just astonished i kind of miss that sense of getting up and seeing that next episode of that sh uh, my favorite sh uh, sims machinima show or hearing about this great news about this director or finding a new great site with all the great custom content on it and now it's it's kind of not there anymore it's kind of like this forced very hostile community that's like 
keep to yourself and make machinima as a chore and got to get it out for this certain deadline and just no one's talking no one's together anymore um and it kind of makes me sad because it's this place that i've been around for a long time about six years now and to kind of see this community just like split i don't get it and back to the views thing there's like two people that are managing to get decent views and that's like a colors magnum and a hauntry that's about it even even when vintage tried to do a new show on vimeo i heard it didn't do very well and i'm pretty sure both vintage and salt pepper sims are gone and um a lot of people left i guess everyone's growing up but the people that are replacing them I don't want to sound mean, but it's the same series, and I can kind of see why. When you look at the influence of the, the shows that have been coming out over the last little while, it's the same kind of shows, and then more people make those kind of shows, because those are the shows to look up to. And I just want to see something really original. Like, <clears throat> back in the day when I saw um, Beyond Reality, Kristen, you started my insane passion and love for magical high school shows they're never done well but you started my i just i loved it um kind of sad you're not doing it anymore but i totally understand as a director you have to move forward and adapt that's how it works same deal with writing and like yeah so, but back to that point like i saw beyond reality and i saw shows by like uh janice with um with her quick optical films with stuff um, like Somnio and uh, even things like Definition of Forever by Oritasho. We don't have that anymore. As a community, when you look at shows, it's like that you've got a couple by Pe uh, Pleasantly Perplex, which are decent. Um, you've got uh, Vanity High still going on and stuff over there on that channel. Um, you've got um uh, like the merman which i found really good uh by white blue cherry right red child i'm so sorry if i got your name wrong but that was just i just found that really cute even if it wasn't that unique but we, yeah we had that sense we used to have that sense of great shows that sense of brilliance like that feeling you could never get from any other medium if you search western tv or you search anime you couldn't get that feeling that sense of only sims machinima can make you feel these feelings and that sense is not here anymore there is no <clears throat> i'm sorry there's no sense of difference it's just another sim show and that community that used to be so wide and full of life is now dying. And I've just come back. And again, I have pretty much caught myself off with all the Sims of Cinema. I was watching like, I was watching a Chloris Magnum shows because it's simple, quick, and funny. And that was what I was into. But that's it. I was watching pretty much nothing else. And yeah, I come back and nothing is here. And I'm just so confused. Did... Did something happen? I don't, I don't know. Like, like, I don't know. I'm hoping with The Sims 4, the community will kind of bind together. And if you're wondering my opinion on Sims 4, which, well, let's face it, you're not. I'm just going to say it anyway. I'm excited for it, but very cautious because it kind of looks more to the idea of gameplay rather than the idea of possibility and creativity. Um, Looking forward to <laughs> making more realistic Sims, though. But yeah, back to that um, that sense. I want the community to feel like it did again, even if it sounds selfish. I really want people that are new to the community to understand what we as directors a couple of years ago felt, and even back further. I know other people felt this way too. Like, it's just, if you were new to the community, you missed out on a big 
a big change, a big explosion of creativity and and um joy. Um just things like when uh Broken was going by Copper Forty Four and I think that show's kind of died down now, but when that was going, that was a ton of fun to watch and keep up with. And yeah, um like what else have we got? Uh, I really liked measuring time. That oh my god, measuring time. Sarah, if you made a book out of it, I would read it. But and I'm trying to think of other shows. It's been a while since I've dive back into my old machinima things like the hundreds thank god melissa's the hundreds is still going i've got to catch up on that um and even stuff like my static fire i really liked her stuff and um yeah those even i don't like maybe you can count count um seeking harmony finding mine in an infamous audrey or two sims 3 series that i really enjoyed finding mine probably more than i should have but like yeah if you're new to the community you would not understand the feeling and that sense of community that these shows caused like call it comma the community for that show was fantastic like it was absolutely exquisite it was just so great because everyone was so interested and it was like like the that kind of fan base for like something like gossip girl towards it towards a show and or, although the it kind of got smaller and smaller with each episode there was still a fan base and everyone was so into it and kid sparrow 27 talking about classic directors if you haven't seen kid sparrow's work you need to because it is a staple for uh machinima but yeah, there's no shows like that. Closet Clown, I'm adoring. Um, just because I haven't seen a good horror show since Somnio. Um, and Alcoris's Magnum shows are still hilarious, but it's nothing like the shows used to be. And that kind of makes me sad. So, what I'm trying to ask here is you have a show you think is unique and is not a typical high school show, or not a typical magic you are the chosen one show, and even like shows, anime style shows, I have a guilty love for even though I know they're not that unique. Anything like that, send me because I would love to see it. Um... Yeah, just thinking about things that are leaving. Voice actors are totally abundant these days. There's none of them. Though, surprisingly, we're getting more male voice actors, which is good. But yeah, um, if you've got a series that you think is decently unique, please send it to me because I'm dying to find something good. And I want something to prove this community isn't dead because it feels dead. And I don't want it to be dead because this is a place where I could go to express my craving to write and my craving to create. And now I don't have that place. And that makes me really sad. So, yeah. Do that. That'd be good. Um, but yeah, Memory Hearts. I'm currently in the middle of reinstalling my games because I was going to change to Sims 3. But that was just stupid ideas of mine thinking I could move into the game just like with a, like a uh, turn of a switch that I could just go into uh, Sims 3 and I'd know everything but I didn't and that turned out bad but I have my files backed up so that's that so I'm in the middle of installing my Sims 2 games again um I'm going to recreate the characters because I know I feel I have this sense of my own style rather than these wannabe characters I created last time and I created in the past um and then I'm going to work on creating my lots again if anyone has any good school lots that have come out in the last year or so please send them to me I would appreciate it so much um not like just stuff on like forums and stuff would be awesome um and yeah I'm gonna do that and um start filming and already got most pretty much i think i've got all the lines uh i need to know my voice actors are still with me so you guys if you're watching us please let me know because i'd really appreciate it 
And yeah, I guess we'll see where we go from there. Memory Hearts is not going to be canceled. I love it to death. I love it as much as when I started writing it about a year and a half ago. God, that's so long ago. I'm really sorry for being gone for so long, but I kind of needed this time to grow as a person. And I feel like I now have that ability to create something that I can really appreciate because I haven't really liked myself for quite a while. Hope's journal meant a lot to me and I'm glad I can recreate it in the... um the the idea of memory hearts because i feel like it's going to be like a sims version of clan ad with my own sense of style and hopefully it'll be good but yeah i'm cu currently also looking in doing some fan dubs doing some voice acting i do have quite a range um I'll leave a uh, old reel in the description, but it's kind of old. Again, take that into mind. I'm sorry if you need someone for that. I'm there for that. But yeah, that's just something. Also, I've been doing this um this anime review channel for quite a while now, about eight months. That channel is updated completely. I try to upload every month or so. Um, I'm. You, if you go watch one of my reviews, I'll leave the description. Uh, leave the link in the description. If you go watch one of those videos, I think you can really see how far my editing has come. Um, and I'm really, really excited to put that into Sims. Like, I'm really excited to get to editing because, like, when I tried to edit Memory Hearts last last time when I filmed a bit, I was just like, this isn't happening. Deleted it, installed Sims 3, and look how that worked out. But yeah, I guess this is the kind of end of my rant. The point, the points that I'm trying to make in this rant is what's happened to the community? Why is it so dead? Please show me a sign that it is not as dead as I think it is. And, uh, Memory Hearts is coming soon. Hopefully in the next, um, next couple of months. If I can get it out on time, I would like to, um, do that. But yeah, I'm not dead. I'm still here. I sound a lot different to what you last probably heard me. Um, and I guess that's it. So, yeah.